What I have here is the Samsung Galaxy A23 for a very quick unboxing and specification check. But first of all, the accessories. This phone comes with a USB Type-C cable and a 15 watt charger. That's it. There are no earphones inside this packaging. The cost of this phone is 22,500 Kenya shillings. But before we go into the specifications, let us first of all take a look around the phone and see what else it has. Starting at the bottom. From the left, we have the 3.5mm audio jack, the microphone, USB Type-C port, and the speaker. On the right side, we have the power button, which also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner and the volume buttons at the top. Take a look at how slim that camera bump is. At the back, we have a quad camera setup with the main lens being 15 megapixels with the flash. So this glossy back cover is a very, very bad fingerprint magnet, as you can see. On the left side, we have the SIM tray. And this SIM tray can hold one micro SD card and two nano SIM cards. And finally, at the front, we have the front camera in a drop notch and another microphone input at the top of the phone over here. Let's start the specifications with the screen. Now, the Samsung Galaxy A23 has a 6.6 inch screen or 167 millimeters across over here. It is a full HD plus screen with the screen resolution being 1080 by 2400. And another very good thing about this phone is that it actually has 90 hz refresh rate as adapted as you can see over here. When it comes to the memory, this phone has 4GB RAM and 64GB of internal storage. But if you want, you can actually choose the 128GB version of this phone. But frankly, I prefer to just upgrade the 64GB with an SD card instead. When it comes to the memory, this phone has RAM expansion feature. And the RAM Plus feature over here, you can see you can actually choose either between 2GB or 4GB. What this does is that it uses part of the internal storage as RAM. So with the 4GB selected over here, I'm actually getting 8GB of RAM on this phone. So let's check the sensors with the help of the CPU X application. But first of all, the CPU. Now this phone is powered by the SM6225 Qualcomm Snapdragon 684G processor. And it has 8 cores, 4 of which are 2.4 GHz Cairo 256 Gold. And the other 4 being 1.9 GHz Cairo 265 Silver. And this phone has an Adreno TM610 GPU. What about the camera? Now this phone has four lenses at the back, like we've already seen. The main lens being 50 megapixels. While the other lenses are, we have a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The front camera is an 8 megapixel lens, but it doesn't have any flash. The maximum video recording quality of this phone is 4K at 30 FPS for the rear camera and 1080p at 30 FPS for the front camera. What about the sensors? We've already seen the power button also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner. So this phone has an accelerometer, orientation sensor, magnetic sensor, proximity sensor. It does not have a light sensor, which is very, very weird. It has a rotation sensor, gyroscope sensor, gravity sensor, the temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors are not available. And finally, the game rotation, step detector, and step counter sensors are available. And that was my very quick assessment of the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. Would you consider buying this phone? Now, this phone is in the same category as the Oppo A57 and the Tecno Camo 19. And I've already done a comparison video of these three phones. And they are quite similar, but with some very big differences. For example, only the Tecno Camo 18 over here has 128GB of internal storage. These two phones have... 64 GB of internal storage. The Samsung Galaxy A23 is the cheapest at 22,500 Kenya shillings. These two phones go for 23,500 Kenya shillings. The Oppo A57 does not have a full HD screen, while the Tecno and the Samsung Galaxy A23 both have a full HD screen. I have a whole other video whereby I compared all these three phones, and you can check that out in the video description below, on the end screens or on the card on the top right corner of your screen. That's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.